Hey, what's up guys? My name's Krinks, and today I'm going to show you how to paint some awesome Deathcore Krieg infantry. Let's do it. Alright guys, so first up what you're going to want to uh, do is give these guys a nice flat black primer. Uh, I'm just using Rust-Oleum black primer here out of Rattle Can, but you can use a airbrush if you'd like. Um, after we have a nice black primer on all of our models, I am using an airbrush here, but you can use just a regular brush. Um, it's going to basically be like a dry brush, um, but you want to have your brush a little bit damp so it spreads more over. Kind of like you're still doing a dry brush with a little bit of paint on the end, um, but you're going to want to have it wet. So like a wet dry brush um, because you do want a lot of color to get on the coats here. Um, but what I'm doing is spraying a Vallejo Game Color Night Blue, which is going to look really pretty and really nice um, and just kind of break up that black a little bit. Um, so here I have going through the airbrush, I'm getting the bottom of the coats, the, the arms, the front of the chest, basically all the areas that the coat is on, um, the gloves as well, everything else you're going to try to avoid, but if you get some overspill that's totally fine, um, it's all going to blend really nice together, we're going for a very grim, dark, dirty look, um, so these are very forgiving models to be painting this kind of scheme on. All right, now while those guys are drying, we are going to go ahead and do the bases. I'm using um, Vallejo Diorama FX. Um, basically, all I'm doing is I have a plastic um, plastic knife, and I'm basically just scraping it out um, and putting it on the base flat. You really don't need too much of this. It's just going to be a texture. It's not going to be super muddy. Um, this is just how I'm doing it. If you want to go super muddy and do the bases a different way, or, or not at all uh, how I'm doing it, then obviously go ahead and do that. Um, and these take, I think I like three to six hours to fully dry. It really depends how much you put on there. Um, but once the bases are dry, we have them on the bases. Um, as you can see, that blue came out very nicely. Um, it might be a little out of focus here. Um, next, I'm going ahead and do a dry brush with Vallejo, what is this called? Gray blue. Um, and this is a standard dry brush, so make sure you have your dry brush, paper towel, whatever you're going to use to get the excess off. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get most of the paint off, like 90%, and then just light brush strokes on the top of all the cloak areas, um, making sure to avoid everything else. And this is really going to bring out those details, and it's going to pair very nicely with the dark blue that we have um, underneath. I would almost say if you wanted to skip the night step, the night uh, spray that we did, the night blue, you could, but it really won't break up that black as much, and black's kind of a hard color to break up and where it just doesn't look black and flat and boring. Um, so I recommend you know doing that night blue or whatever other blue you're going to do that's a darker blue uh, close to black. So anyway, we're just doing a nice uh, dry brush all over the model, um, and then you'll be left something with like this that really just brings instant details to everything and looks very, very nice. Alrighty, and up next I am using, I think it's just called Vallejo Flat Brown. Um, you can, again, you can use, you know, feel free if I'm using a certain brown, it doesn't have to be this exact brown, use whatever colors you like, that's part of the fun. Um, but I'm basically just using a flat brown here and that is going to be used for the front packs, the little like breathing packs that the gas mask goes in, um, as well as the boots here. Um, and again, this is just my, I, I mean, you can see in the background, I've got like 60 guys to paint. Um, so I'm tr my paint scheme is I'm really trying to make this fast and easy, but also looking very, you know, refined and nice and still very um, appealing to the eye on the tabletop and everything. But when you have 60 plus guys, you can't make everyone a character. So feel free to add more details if you see anything missing um, that you're like, hey, I want to add. This is just a baseline and for what I did personally. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but again, this is what it looks like at the end here. Um, and, you know, everything's starting to close, uh, get close together. We're bringing out a bunch of different colors. It's coming together very nicely. Uh, next, for all the metal parts, the head, the shoulder pads, the little gas mask tube, um, as well as like the nozzle of where the tube connects to the gas mask and the gun, anything that's metal, we're going to go ahead and paint lead belcher. Again, feel free to use whatever metal colors you want. 
Um, to make this a little bit faster, um, black is kind of a nice color to be able to be cheesy with. You could even dry brush on to give it a little bit of texture and scratching effect instead of straight painting. Um, and then that effect will look very nice on the black as well. Um, here I'm just painting the whole thing silver because that's just what I want to do, but that's a little cheeky way you can do. Um, I also painted the front of the gas mask, the video was a little fast there, just a Vallejo Iraqi sand um, and then painted that on all 60 guys that I have. Uh, the next step right here is uh, we are going to coat everything in a gloss varnish. This is for the next step the, uh, where we're going to do oil washes, which is my first time doing oil washes um, on this uh, like painting ever. So this is quite an experience, but uh, if I can do it, you can do it. Alrighty, so I'm using uh, Windsor Newton oil. Um, you don't have to use this oil, but this is just what I'm using. It's burnt umber. It's what I was recommended to use uh, through my own research. And then I'm using Gamsol to thin it down. Um, so we're basically want to get, to get the consistency of not a wash and not a paint. I would say more of like a high flow paint, like something that you put in an airbrush. That's like the perfect consistency that we want here. Um, the gloss is to make it so that the oil gets, you know, doesn't have high surface tension and really seeps into all those cracks and everything. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do here is basically just slob it on. I know right now it looks terrible. Oh my god, ruined. Looks like I just dropped it in the mud. That looks terrible. But don't worry, at the end it's going to uh, look out uh, really nice. Um, and it's going to get that final effect that you saw in the beginning of the video. Uh, so right here I'm just slathering it on. Um, in the next step, we are actually going to be wicking this away uh, to get a nice effect where basically all the oil stays in the recesses. And then the top parts that, you know, maybe there's too much, uh, we're going to go ahead and wick away. So right here I'm using a makeup brush. I would say wait probably like 5 to 10 minutes. I was doing this right away for the video and wiped off way too much and basically had to redo this on several models, like the whole oil wash and everything. Um, so just make sure you wait like 5 to 10 minutes before you start wicking it away and then you can go ahead and, um, you know, use your makeup sponge or whatever you're going to use to wipe it away. Um, if you want, you can always put some Gamsol on your uh, makeup sponge and then it'll reactivate the oil. Uh, right here I'm just using a neon green paint. You, this could be blue, red, whatever you want to do. And basically just putting it in the eye sockets for a nice glow effect. Um, part of the way I save time on here is I didn't glue the backpacks on or the shovels. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just paint them, a, uh, spray paint them a flat, bra a flat brown. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what brown this was. Um, but this is basically going to save a lot of time. I do like my models to be varied, so some of them don't have backpacks, some of them have the other ba the, like backpacks without the blanket on, and some of them have the shovels and some don't. So it's almost like, you know, they return to base, they lost a lot of supplies, whatever, use your imagination. But I just like some variants and them to look different. Um, here I glued on the shovels and the backpacks, and I'm going to go ahead and just do a non-oil wash. Uh, the shovels are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I used, uh, again, just lead belcher for the shovel tip, and that was it. I didn't paint anything else. The brown is literally just from the spray paint. Glued them onto the model, and now I'm just doing a known oil wash. You could go ahead and do the oil wash again if you want, but I chose not to. Um, here we are going to weather the base. I did use, this is again my first time using weathering powder, and this is way too big of a brush. Um, I would recommend using a smaller brush. I basically have two colors here. I have a lighter color and a darker color, um, and that's just to add some variance. Uh, basically, I'm just tapping it on here with a makeup brush. Again, this is way too big. I was trying to do this in a hurry to get this video out, and I'm just slobbing powder over my other models. This is terrible. Don't do this. Make sure you're not tapping powder above your other models because I had to brush all that powder off the helmets and everything of the models below. So it didn't look really weird. Uh, really weird. Um, and then in the final step, we're just going to take that same makeup brush and go ahead and blend. Uh, if you get some on the coats and the boots, perfect. It'll look right at home. It'll add to the model. Just make sure you don't get anything on the top of the model because then it'll look really out of place and weird. 
Um, and then finally to seal it all, we're just using a, a matte varnish and that's going to seal in the powder and all the work we've done and everything uh, so we can go ahead and play this model. And this is the finished result, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed making it. Uh, th again, this is like my first painting tutorial, so I know there's a lot I could improve on. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, and if you want me to paint something next, just comment below. I have a lot of Krieg stuff. If I don't have it, I'll order it and I will paint it. Thanks, guys.